As Kenya escalates efforts to beat the global deadline of ending TB by 2030, health stakeholders have termed undiagnosed TB cases, stigma and lack of awareness as among the biggest impediments to the fight against TB. Speaking during the second National Community Systems Strengthening Forum, the experts called for community engagement in advocacy and encouraged uptake of health services in TB management, as you'll we'll hear now from Safin Achieng Uma. Tuberculosis is the ninth leading cause of death worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, over 10.6 million people fell ill with TB in 2022 globally, leading to 1.1 million deaths. At the country level, Kenya is not doing very well because we are listed among the 30 countries that contribute to 80% of the global TB burden. And at the African level, we are ranked number four. That is after South Africa, Nigeria, Ethiopia, and uh, then Kenya. Kenya records an average of 90,000 cases of TB annually. But despite the grim statistics, the country has made great progress in addressing TB, leading to a sharp reduction in TB-related mortalities and TB infections between 2020 and 2022. For TB mortalities, we were able to move from 33,000 TB deaths as at the end of 2019 to 17,000, that's about half, 17,000 TB-related deaths as at the end of 2022. That's a very good progress. Thank you very much. Speaking on the sidelines of the second National Community System Strengthening Forum, stakeholders raised concern about undiagnosed TB cases, especially in rural areas, stigma and lack of awareness about TB. When you engage communities in, for example, identifying the person who has TB, um, uh, doing counseling for them to go to hospital, supporting them to complete treatment, then that helps in meeting our goals. There are some gaps that we have identified within the health system and government themselves are not in a position to address. So how do we work with the government so that they are able to contract community-based organizations, community-led organizations, to respond to some of the issues that they are not able to. The experts argue that community engagement has also been pivotal in addressing the funding gap in TB management. We've also had the organizations have their capacity developed to be able to attract funding. They've been able to participate in processes that we are having at the county level. And some of them have actually gone to undertake advocacy and influence the counties to increase to increase the budget that is allocated for HIV, TB, and uh, uh, malaria programming in their counties. If you look at the National TB Program Strategic Plan, has a component that brings in the component of uh, community engagement, and that is where we, as TB affected communities, come in and inform programming so that the programs that are made, they are not just made for us, but they are made with us. With six years left to the global deadline of ending TB by 2030, the stakeholders have called for reinforcement of the TB management strategies, which include fast tracking of the development of a TB vaccine and the adoption of TB prevention therapy for vulnerable populations. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.